Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. I pray everyone is doing well today, blessed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and encouraged and excited as we wait for His coming. And uh, wow, another thing to add to the mix of everything else that's going on in the world, the Saharan dust plume. This is a live shot of the sun this morning at about 10.30 a.m. Yucatan, Mexico, Central Time. A picture of the sun is incredibly uh, evident how this dust cloud has come from the Saharan Desert. And Yucatan is hazy. This is going on three days now. But today seems to be worse than even yesterday. And uh, <clears throat> so I wanted to just share this with you guys, wondering how everything's going in your neck of the woods. And uh, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, and this is the reason for the video uh, that I'm making today, is I wanted to share with you guys about the, about the, uh, the eclipses of 2020 and just give you guys some perspective on what we are looking at and watching. Um, there are four lunar eclipses in 2020. Uh, two of them have already taken place. There's one coming up on July 4th and 5th, and then there's another one coming up on November 29th and 30th. And uh, just to let you know that all of these lunar eclipses have, have, have been uh, penumbral lunar eclipses. Just to let you know the difference between a penumbral eclipse and a total eclipse. Um, you have a total eclipse where the moon becomes blood red. You have a partial eclipse where you can actually see the, uh, you know, the, the darkening of the moon. And then you have the penumbral eclipse where it's just a shadow. Just a shadow is being cast on the, uh, on the moon. It's not, a, it's not a total eclipse, and it's even less than a partial eclipse. You just have a shadow, uh, but the moon in and of itself is not blocked out. Okay, so all four lunar eclipses have, have been this type of, of eclipse, penumbral. Okay, and um, I just had a discussion with uh, some friends on Facebook, and uh, they were sharing this upcoming eclipse of July 4th as a blood moon eclipse, and I actually um, just, you know, I called them out on that, and I said, um, the eclipse is a penumbral eclipse, it's, a, it's less than partial, it's just a mere shadow is going to be cast upon the moon and portraying the upcoming blood the the upcoming lunar eclipse on July 4th and 5th as a blood moon eclipse is a clear misrepresentation of what it is for those who are wanting to add to God's signs in the heavens I mean there's no need to to add to what the sign is the sign is a penumbral eclipse in and of itself, it's nothing fantastic. It's nothing uh, spectacular. It's just a shadow is going to be cast upon the moon. That's it. And uh, when I called one of the friends that I called out on, and I asked him why he would portray this, he actually did the um, he actually did the publication himself about July Fourth being a blood moon eclipse, and I called him out on that. And um, he ended up blocking me. <laughs> he ended up blocking me. Well, because, uh, well, that's just, uh, that just, that just hurt, I guess. It hurt for him to hear the truth, and he doesn't want to hear the truth. Well, it's just, you know, it bothers me when people try to add to everything. It's like, what, why are you trying to force your own ideas and hopes on on what is not there. 
There's no blood moon eclipse on July 4th. It's a penumbral eclipse. Just a mere shadow is going to be cast upon the moon, portraying it as a blood moon eclipse, which only happens with total eclipses is just, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. It really bothers me. I had to call them out on that, and one of the friends just ended up blocking me. Wow. I mean, okay, sorry. Sorry I'm trying to inform you. I'm trying to educate you. You don't care. That's fine. I get it. You don't ever have to hear from me again. That's fine. Do your thing, even though you're on YouTube uh, p portraying all of your crap live videos, I guess. I mean, if that's, if that's uh, the depth of your maturity, having someone come to you with the truth and you blocking them, well, anyway, that's my calling is to share truth. And so I wanted to just let everybody know. And this is just kind of, this is a kind of a rant that I'm going on. Because, you know, when I, when I shared that, I wasn't even looking to get into a big discussion. I was just trying to share something. But this just brought out a huge point that is being seen so often right now. People trying to force their own hopes and wishes and desires and even changing the signs in the heavens to make their own point of what they want to happen i mean we want rapture now so Ju july 4th is a blood moon eclipse give me a break we don't need to change god's signs okay god has put his signs in the heavens perfectly for us for us to understand now there are two to, there are two uh, solar eclipses in 2020. And as spectacular as June 21st annular eclipse was, I just want to let everybody know that the December 14th total solar eclipse is going to be way better. Okay, it's way better. And here is the difference between an annular solar eclipse and a total solar eclipse. I'll come back to some other information I want to share with you about this. Here's the difference. Okay, we have a partial solar eclipse where you have just a partial uh, shadow of the moon going in front of the sun, and this happens uh, quite often. Most most eclipses are partial eclipses. And then you have the, an annular solar eclipse, which has to do with the, the, the distance of the moon being farther away. It's, be, it's farther away, and it's, it's, uh, or it's closer. I think it's, the, it's, the, it's a closer moon. And it's, uh, it's covering almost the entirety of the uh, annular solar disk. It's the, of the solar disk. It's an annular eclipse. It creates a ring, okay? But the total solar eclipse, which is December 14th, is the eclipse that creates the diamond ring, okay? The annular eclipse that just took place on June 21st did not create this diamond ring effect. It was just a ring in the sky. And so, as we look at all of the eclipses, we can see, okay, that the December 14th eclipse creates this diamond ring effect, whereas this June 21st eclipse is an annular. Both are amazing signs in the heavens. Okay, but to be honest, and you know, as I said, the best signs are yet to come. The December 14th total solar eclipse is the best eclipse of 2020. No doubt about it. If you want a sign of 2020, a sign in the sun and the moon and the stars, the best eclipse is December 14th. 
Okay, it's just, this is just the way it is. Here are all the eclipses. I'm showing you right now why there's no doubt about it. December 14th is the best eclipse of 2020. Okay, this is the wedding ring eclipse. It happens to be midweek Hanukkah, the day of the virgins that are filled with oil ready for the coming of the bridegroom, the midnight hour. And December 14th is the exact midpoint of both total solar eclipses over America. August 21st, 2017 to April 8th, 2024, you go to the exact middle day from 2,422 days, go 1,211 days, and it brings you to another total solar eclipse over Argentina, December 14th. The best eclipse of 2020. Okay. So if I tell you that June, July 4th is not a blood moon eclipse, please do not get upset with me. I'm telling you the truth. If I'm telling you that December 14th is the best eclipse of 2020, do not get upset with me. I am telling you the truth. Okay? <laughs> so this is an amazing situation. And the two great American eclipses point us to a middle point, an X that goes across America in the exact middle date is the total solar eclipse on December 14th, midweek Hanukkah, 2020. So before I close, I want to point you to my channel and all the recent videos that I have shared about the signs in December of 2020. 1,000 Harpaso days? What? Oh my God, more proof of where we really are. Don't be discouraged. The best signs are yet to come. Were the Mayans right? 2020 is really 2012. After the tribulation, not after the great tribulation. The sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give its light, the stars of the heavens shall fall, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken after the tribulation of those days. Prophecy alert, the great conjunction of December 21st, 2020. The dragon, the 1260 days, and the flood. Powerful understanding. Hanukkah, Nisan 1, and the 1211-1212 conjunction. The Great Conjunction, according to Hollywood, astrologers, and the Bible. Does the Revelation 12-14 show the rapture on December 14th, 2020? The dragon and the child, the great conjunction of December 21st, 2020. And the first video I did on this subject, X marks the spot, December 14th, midweek Hanukkah, 2020. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm just, you know, I'm doing all I can to just share truth with whoever will listen and those who want to block me for caring that's fine that's fine i i love you guys i really do i pray you guys are blessed this is steve fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed